Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is McCoy once again. And uh, yeah, very quick video. I'm just going to teach you how to meet all of the system requirements for you guys to be able to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11. So I'm going to guide you all throughout, my man, from the download of PC Health Checker, where you can check the eligibility of your PC, if it will accept Windows 11, up until we activate the FTPM. Just want to let you know, guys, that this guide is specific for Gigabyte motherboards, but you can also uh, watch this video because um, there are motherboards as well that is somehow similar to how the BIOS looks like in Gigabyte. So yeah, without further ado, let's do this in three, two, one. Alright, so before we go ahead and proceed with the guide, my man, just want to let you know that not all motherboards will have the TPM 2.0, especially the older motherboards. The one that we have right now is uh, from Gigabyte. It's the B450i Aorus Pro Wi-Fi. And yes, we have the TPM. It's not the TPM 2.0 version, but what we have is the FTPM. I'm not pretty sure if A320 will have the TPM 2.0, but um, since we're using or since we have a similar interface or the BIOS UEFI, you might want to follow on this tutorial or you might want to watch this tutorial just in case you might want to check if it's available on your end. So the first thing that you will need to do is you need to check the system requirements of your uh, motherboard if you will have that TPM feature. Now, how will you do that? Um, yeah, you'll just have to go to the Microsoft website and just search for Windows 11 upgrade. Let's say upgrade. Uh, great there you go and then at the top will immediately show you the Microsoft website upgrade to the new Windows 11 now what you want to do is to go at the bottom of the website and then search for check for compatibility download app after downloading that part you just have to next 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 install complete similar steps on how you're going to how you install a software if your motherboard doesn't have the TPM 2.0 or the FTPM, it will show this PC can't run Windows 11. TPM 2.0 is a requirement for running Windows 11. We recommend that you check if TPM 2.0 is enabled. Now, if you've already activated the TPM 2.0 or, or the FTPM, then it would show something like this one. <laughs> This PC can run Windows 11. Great news. This PC meets all the system requirements for Windows 11 and it's free. We'll let you know when it's ready to install. Now you can download the leaked version, but it's up to you guys. <laughs> um, I just want to show you the, you know, the steps for you guys to be, uh, for you to meet the requirements for Windows 11 upgrade. So uh, yeah, let's do this. Without further ado, man, we just have to stop this recording and switch to the camera right here. Okay, so the first thing that you have to do is to restart your PC and get into the BIOS by mashing that delete button in your keyboard, on your keyboard. Okay, so now we're here in the BIOS. So there are instances that your motherboard will be on easy mode. You just have to press F2 for it to switch to classic. There you go. So, perfect. Yeah. Now, once you're here, you want to go to peripherals. There you go. Peripherals. Ayan. Some of you will see this Trusted Computing 2.0. Oh, no, that's not the one. The one that you're going to select is here at the top. AMD CPU FTPM. Some of the motherboards will have the 2.0, but since we're using B450 um, from Gigabyte, uh, the one that we have will be the FTPM. So if it's disabled, you want to double-click it and change it to Enabled. Now, once done, that's the only thing that you're going to do after clicking or after activating it. Press F10 for you to save and exit. Press yes. It will, um, if you made some changes, it will ask you that or it will confirm to you that you've made some changes. Do you, are you sure you want to save and exit? Just hit yes. So, yeah, there you go. Then you might want to check now. Supposed to be what it should look like is. This PC can run Windows 11. Great news. This PC meets all the system requirements for Windows 11 and it's free. We'll let you know when it's ready to install. So there you go, guys. I really hope that you find this video useful and educational. And uh, yeah, I hope that I was able to help you out in terms of, you know, activating your FTPM in your motherboard. Um, if you have any questions about the BIOS, UEFI, Windows 11, all of that stuff, let me know. 
comment them down below. I'm gonna read them. Um, and I yeah. understand that uh, some of you guys ask for me to review the Windows 11. I'm planning to review it once it is officially released already. You know, so um, I'm already seeing some news that guys. Blue Stacks is no more, so it means that it has its own emulator inside the Windows 11, which is, guys, awesome. Ah, Cabal Mobile, ah, malapit na, Cabal Mobile na. <laughs> I'm so excited, so I hope they do Android um, emulation as well. Yo, this is crazy. Yeah, there you go, guys. I really hope that you find this video useful. If you did, please hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends. I'm going to see you again on my next video. Peace.